Good morning, BoatingBanner.com fans. Captain Larry here. Chapter 26. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. I'm sorry I'm a little late getting this video out. But uh, back to work now and here we go. What we're going to do today is I promised you I'd show you the uh, backrest in uh, Monterey project. This is it. Uh, at the time, I was assuming we were going to have to replace the wood. And fortunately speaking, when I got it open, uh, it was in very nice shape. The uh, wood obviously has age to it, it, but the foam is very, very nice. And all I simply did was, I don't know if you remember that, but these things were wiggling. And so all I simply did was put the braces on here. I put hardener. There was some a little bit of rot on the side. So I just put some hardener from uh, Minwax, wood hardener, I believe it's called. So I put that on both sides and just put a couple of braces on and she saw there's a rock. So that saved a bunch of time and money. So I think we're in good, good shape here. Uh, of course, that's the back. That's the front. Actually, <laughs> the bottom of the front. So like I say, everything is in really, really good shape. What I wanted to show you here before we get into the, uh, the pieces that I cut out, I don't know if you can see here, what I did is I marked where the seams fall on the, on the wood. Uh, that is really critical. I uh, can't, can't uh, recommend that enough that you do that. Because when we're putting the vinyl on, it's important that uh, for centering and that it's going to look right, that we hit the seams very close to where they were when we took them off. So not only should you mark the vinyl when you're getting ready to do like I did, you know, I, I put my Sharpies on the wall. Uh, before I take it off, I, I, I don't want to finish stapling. I just roll it up and say, okay, this is where one seam was. Then I identify which, this is the, the middle, identify where that goes. And so when we're putting it on, hopefully that's going to make life a lot simpler for us. Also, uh, I don't know if you remember, we had that big roll here uh, under the rest, the back rest. And what I did is before I unstapled uh, it, I took a marker and, and ran it all the way down the line. So now I know, because this folds two ways, we're going to have to put this, when we finish, this will go over first, and then the roll will go over second, and they're both stapled to this exact same spot. So I marked that so I can make sure when we staple the uh, top part, we'll do that first and then follow that line when we staple the second part for the rollover and uh, hopefully it will come out right. So uh, let me uh, show you the cutouts that I did and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back everybody. These are the pieces that are going to make up our uh, backrest. Now, uh, when I originally had reviewed this, I thought I was going to have to replace all the roll, the rollover on the bottom. But then as I started looking at it, the, really the vinyl was in excellent shape, again with the exception of the two brown stripes. So I think with a good cleaning, uh, this is going to come out fine. And so I decided just to replace these two brown stripes. Now this has scrim, matter of fact both both pieces have scrim on the back and so uh, a lot of times when things have scrim I just simply put the batting down and that makes up for the space. Uh, this one here what I've decided to do is uh, I'm not going to put batting on this one so what I simply did is I, I just took the 77 adhesive and took some quarter inch foam and put that in. So now basically this roll should be smooth hopefully <laughs> through across the whole section of it. Even because uh, it will all be scrimmed but I won't use the batting. So I think that will be easier to install. So we got that done already. That was very straightforward uh, sewing. So with really nothing to show you there. Now the pieces that will be making up the backrest this is the main piece, of course. 
and these are the corners and they're very curved and so it's going to be a challenge and also it's all, every, all the seams are double double seams so we're going to have a little bit of uh, excitement with our our uh, sewing but that will be great for you uh, we'll learn practice from me and hopefully I'll show you an actual application what a double seam looks like and these will be a little tough because they're on a curve and not a straight line so it will be uh, a little bit of a challenge but again it'll be great exercise for us again as you can see I mark I mark the uh, spot we have a lot of stapling areas where I didn't, didn't have to leave the extra for sewing but then the seam the seam areas are here and what I do also is uh, after I lay all these out and trace them, I bring them back to a more comfortable, because I you have to do it on the floor, like a lot of you probably will have to do. Uh, so I bring it back and uh, put it on a table where I'm comfortable, and I, I lay them down uh, on top of each other after I had done the rough cutting, just to make sure I didn't cut any corners or I didn't leave enough uh, vinyl on, so like for the seam area. And I went over all of these, and I think I'm in pretty good shape. So I think they will sew well. So anyway, okay, now we will get sewing. I'll bring right back, and off we go. Okay, welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> well, I wanted to, decided to show you again. I know we've gone over this, but I think you can never <laughs> cover it enough. Uh, remember... Uh, what we want to do is we want to work from the center of the backrest out. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the right hand side. This is uh, my right plate. Well, this is right plate number two. Because remember we, we mark from outside in. So the first plate is on the outside, the second plate on the inside, the main plate is here. Now <coughs> this is the way it needs to go. Remember you need to have good face to good face when you're sewing. So it kind of looks weird because obviously, but what we'll do is you get up, get it from top to bottom of our right and flip it over. And this is the way we'll be sewing it. And we'll need to start here and get all the way around over there on this curve. So this will make a little, little bit of tuck, but uh, we can do it, I'm sure. So the first thing you do, well, another trick uh, you may want to try is don't pull it real hard, but pull it so that it kind of straightens out and then check it on the uh, on the vinyl. So it shows, because you want to make sure that uh, you're in the right spot, both top and bottom. So I've got like a half inch on each side that I'm longer than the, uh, that I need to be, I think. So what I'll do is I'll start a little bit with my stapling. That's where I'll start. I'll put the, uh, not even quite a half inch down, and do my initial staple. And we go, and we like to roll these. Make sure everything's laying flat. Roll that one. Shall we do a good edge now? We always want to do our edges. Good. And this looks good. I don't know if you can see it. Looks like we got about a about a half inch extra right there. And we'll do that. Okay, here we go. Now let's do the first we do a simple seam. Remember. Start from the top. Again, this is why I use a scribe, so I know where my line is going to be. I want this a little extra, because I'm going to be folding it over for the double. Uh, there we go. And we 
the trailers. Because you have staples doesn't mean it's going to stay there. So make sure while you're sewing that you're holding on. Make sure these edges stay on their edge. And remember, we don't have a really a straight line here, so we're we're kind of rolling with it. Makes it a little harder. staples out of there. Now what I have been doing, I told you before, I, I usually pull them out. I found it's been easier and quicker if I put them on the very edge. So when I'm sewing, it's inside and then I don't have to take them out until the end. But I do like to take them out now because I don't want to be forgetting them and now that we have the uh, seam in, no, nothing should be going anywhere anyway, so it should be good. Well, we're working on our double seam. seam over because we're going to want a double. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our double on the inside, which I believe is where it was before. So we want to make sure that our rollover is on that side. And again, we're going to put the this inside foot now, we're going to put it right on the seam we just made. Okay, now we're, and we're sewing on the grid side this time, not the underside. So we want this foot to follow that seam and we're going to pull apart so it's a nice tight seam. Okay, pull apart. Follow right down the seam. Time. Don't try to go fast. Unless you're really good. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Hey, that looks pretty nice, huh? It's very, very nice. It's very professional when you throw those in there. So, anyway, so okay, that is basically all I'm going to be doing from it. Now I'm going to attach the other side here. So then I'll go to the other side to that side. So I will bring you back when all the sewing is done. Okay, welcome back, everybody. We got it finished. All the sewing is done now. <coughs> So now we have to kind of rough fit it, uh, which is I think going to be a real struggle with all these angles. The hardest part of these things when you get a, a lot of angles is uh, it just seems like the seams, you got to try to get the seams in the right place uh, and stretch it right so you don't end up too much on one side or the other. Again, that's why it's good to start in the middle, make sure you're centered 
rather than doing one side and trying to do the other side and find out you're uh, an inch shy over there. I think the uh, sewing came out really nice. I'll let me show you that. But you can see our double seam here. It really dresses the uh, really dresses the project up nicely, I think. So pretty good. The only thing we miss, of course, is the uh, the uh, logo, which would go right here. But of course, I don't have the capability of doing that. But anyway, this is what it's going to look like, hopefully, when we get it tacked on. So that's what I will do now. I will wrestle with this thing and get it tacked on so we see how it's fitting, make sure all our measurements was, were right. Again, by going back after you cut it, going back with those templates and putting it over there, the product you cut on, just make sure everything was the right size uh, so we don't have a problem putting it on. So anyway, I'll get after that and bring you right back. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, I have finished tacking this on, and uh, <laughs> it's a miracle. It seems like it's going to fit fine. Um, it, my only question is, the uh, original product had the scrim, and I sewed this without scrim, and I kind of recommend that for anybody. Uh, sewing with scrim on is really hard. <laughs> so what I usually do is I'll sew it just with the vinyl, and if I need scrim desperately, then I'll glue it on uh, afterwards like I did with the uh, roll that goes on the bottom. And it works fine that way. And you don't have the trouble sewing them. Uh, this one here, I'm not going to use scrim, period. But the question is, do I want to put the batting on? And the more I look at it, I don't think I will. It, see how nice and smooth this is? It has a nice feel to it. It's uh, obviously when I get it pulled tight with my uh, final stapling, I think this is really going to look good. I don't think it has some nice angles to it. I kind of like it. So I don't think I'm going to mess with it. I think I'm going to leave it just like this. The uh, two seam double stitch is really looking sharp. It looks like this, of course, is going to be my rough area of both of the sides here. Uh, this again is an inside corner we're going to have to worry about. But everything seems to fit. Uh, the seams came where I marked them on the back rest, so we're relatively centered. Uh, everything's covered. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do, I think I'm going to break this into two, uh, two videos because this next part the uh, going to be a little more difficult because we have the inside corners but we have a good piece of foam there. So I think I'll be able to spray the adhesive on both of these here and make this come out pretty good. So, uh, which again, will kind of eliminate the need for the scrim. Scrim would actually get in the way of trying to do that because of its uh, tenacity and it would release and uh, we'd lose, we'd lose our tautness here on the corner. So. Another reason I don't think I'm going to do the scrim, I mean the scrim or the uh, batting. I'm just going to leave the raw vinyl on there. I think it looks fine. So what we have to do is uh, say glue these two corners, inside corners here, <coughs> finish stapling all of it, and then uh, applying the roll on the bottom. So that's going to be a that's going to be a task in itself. So let's. Uh, Let's cut this thing off here now. You'll see what it looks like. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, it's pretty good. So uh, we'll finish this up on uh, next episode. So uh, this will be 26. So chapter 27, we'll get this thing finished up. And then hopefully my seats will be here so we can start on that. So anyway, thanks all for coming. I'll see you tomorrow uh, or next day, depending on what's going on. And we'll, we'll get this finished. You guys have a great day. Thank you.